<laughs> Thank you, Chris. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Hey, hey, uh, what's up? Jiu-Jitsu Dummies, episode eight. eight. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do a little uh, kind of a mini episode today. Change it up a little bit. Change it up a little bit. I asked Junior to join me. Um, the reason we're going to do this is because we get a lot of questions. I felt bad that we were only getting to maybe two or three per episode. Yeah, especially now, now that out. yeah, and yeah, I got a couple more. Yeah, now that we're doing, um, you know, we we had, we had a Skype guest on last episode. Uh, we had uh, Justin from Fightback CBD. That was great. That was great. Fightback. Yeah, uh, we love him. Um, but uh, it it like pains me to not answer some of these questions because sometimes I get them online and I and I want to answer them right there. And then I'm like, no, we got to save them for the show. Yeah, that's what we're we're trying to do. uh, So we're going to just, we're going to cover it. And look, these are commonly asked questions uh, and or subjects that are brought up online, whether it's in the podcast group or uh, just, you know, maybe somebody tags me and like, Mm. uh, you know, I follow jujitsu. I'm in the uh, jujitsu, his group. It's about, I think he's probably had 14,000, 15,000 people in his podcast group. So, uh, you know, sometimes people will tag us. Uh, and say, you know, what do you guys think? Or, you know, just try to get the conversation going. So we couldn't possibly give out uh, CBD and T-shirts to everybody, to everybody who's We'd at, love you know, to. four or five people asking the same question. Yeah. Uh, I don't want uh, anybody to feel slighted. So this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to, like we did last episode, we're going to give away a bottle of CBD. Nice. And a uh, $50 a coupon code uh, for... Our podcast store, which is on chokeresponsibly.com, right? Or you can go to jujitsudummies.com and click on store. And uh, so they'll get that, that coupon code, Fightback CBD. Coupon code still going, that coupon code still going. So, so yeah, all the previous like coupon coupon codes, but I, I send a very specific coupon code to the winner. Gotcha. Uh, those okay. 10% off coupon codes are, are still good if anybody's watching or they've seen a previous episode. Those We'll keep those on on, on chokeresponsibly.com. But if somebody, um, uh, you know, or the winner of the of this contest that we're about to explain, uh, we'll say we'll email them a very specific uh, code for that special. contest. So what we're gonna do here is, if you right, so on the YouTube video, you're going to go to our YouTube channel. You're going to like, like, subscribe, subscribe, and comment, and comment, and comment. Say something nice. Say something positive. Ask a question. I'm good with all with all those. Okay. Uh, but we're going to randomly pick somebody, and we're going to send them a bottle of CBD and nice, the fifty dollar coupon nice. code. All right. All so right, yeah. so we're still getting some uh, some podcast gear out there to you guys. Uh, and again, we couldn't possibly give um, t shirts and CBDs out to everybody. We get nice so many questions that it, it would be hard. It's hard. Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> it would be nice, but it but it but it's hard. So uh, that's number one. Number two, uh, I wanted to thank Ospop. Ospop. Ospop.com, Os, uh, at Ospop, P-O-P, right? O-S-S-P-O-P, B-J-J on Instagram. Yeah, this is one of their it's great like shirts right here. Yeah, man, I love Difficult that. Difficult uh, roads lead to? Yeah. Jiu-Jitsu. I love that shirt. You sent, you put up a great picture. That was like, it looked like it was professionally shot. It was great. <laughs> it was a good picture, man. Uh, love that shirt. Big shouts out, shout out to them uh, up here. I keep on pointing up because uh, we've got the sticker on our, on our vinyl banner behind us. But, uh, you know, again, big shout out to them for participating in the last episode. And hopefully they'll do some other things with us in the future again. So, um, uh, and listen, as always, Fightback CBD, Justin um, uh, McClenny from Fightback CBD has been incredible to us. He's given us a, you know, he hasn't given it to us, but uh, the giveaways he sends directly to the, uh, to the winners. So uh, he's he keeps us in in CBD, but he's keeping our, our followers and our listeners in CBD for sure. As well. Yeah, so, I recently so, started using some of it again. Yeah, yeah. Again, so, I tried it uh, once before. I stopped using it for a little bit, but then I had some shoulder pain that I really can't get past. Right, yeah. so I was having some numbing feeling in my fingers, keep me from training. We're gonna talk about training here with yeah. injuries mm-hmm. in a little a little bit later. But man, it significantly helped. I was having okay. difficulty sleeping. And it's alleviated a lot of the pain. Yeah. Now I've had to find a dose that fits me and my pain, but hey, yeah. it's still working, and I don't have to jump on, you know, taking pills or doing something crazy. So one of the interesting things that I took away from uh, from the interview with Justin was that, you know, he himself is not saying like, "Hey, it's going to be a cure all, or your pain's going to go from ten to to zero. He said, you know, if my pain went, I, I, I don't remember the exact numbers that he gave, but if my 
pain goes from 10 to 6, that's a win. That's a better, yeah, you know, that, that's a better that, that's, day. That's good for him. Um, so, you know, I agree with that. You know, if it brings down the pain significantly, I mean, he has a lot of pain in his mm-hmm. fingers, he said. Um, I think that's a win. So, um, shoulder getting better, not able to train well, yet, the though? Pain, no, I haven't. I've stopped training for a little bit only because I have some numbness in my fingertip, right? Okay. It's probably a pinched nerve that um, I probably need to get checked out a little bit. Okay. Better. I just don't want to go injure myself, make it worse. And okay. I'm prone to injuries. The older I get, <laughs> that so, sucks. Uh, I I actually went to the uh, the chiropractor. I got my uh, X-ray back from my primary care physician. Uh, the whole story is I went thinking I had a hernia. I was getting some pain yeah. under the belt line. Um, he said he felt around. There's no bulge. Uh, he's like, hold on. He puts his hand on my back. No so to feel on my back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no bulge. Zero bulge. Thank you, Junior. I appreciate you. Um, so. He uh, he feels my back. He's like, oh, you're having some spasms. He's like, let's send you for an X-ray. If the X-ray doesn't come up with anything, we'll send you for an MRI. Get the MRI. They fax me back the results. Um, basically, like kind of like a slip disc. Mm. Uh, the L5. I don't really know yeah, the yeah, yeah. L- L5. This that numbers. A uh, little arthritis. Getting older. Forty six, right? Oh man. So says no way we're going to turn back the arthritis, but we can do something about the. Or actually, I, well, so I took those results, and then it, okay, it's my back. So I went to my Cairo. Uh, and, uh, I had stopped going to my chiropractor. I was going every, once every two weeks. I had stopped going. I kind of feel like this is probably an ongoing problem that was getting taken care of without me knowing it. Uh, cause I was, you know, we always have back pain, right? Of course. You know, jujitsu yeah. guys are always going to be, you got pain, something, something's always hurting. So, uh, so I kind of figured, you know, I stopped going for a little while. Okay. This just got worse, but I, in my mind, I'm telling myself I was probably fixing this the entire time. Every time I went, so, uh, so basically the way he described it is like my, my spine, like a couple of the discs, like one of them went back and they got to push it back forward mm-hmm. and it's pinching a nerve and it's probably hurting and it's not that bad. They said it's That's like, good. uh, for every 25%, it's got like a, a number. So it was like one, two, three, and four. So, yeah. so uh, I'm, I'm at the beginning. I'm, I'm at one. So, uh, with that, some good massage. I felt better. I've, I've still been training maybe once or twice a week. I, I kind of feel like I still want to go and. You know, lay on my back a lot, let people attack. You, you know, no sit ups. Easy. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so uh, you know, I went. I, I trained today. You said you, you haven't been able to train. No, I haven't uh, trained, yeah. man. I can't even remember the last time. It's probably yeah. been three, four weeks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's rough, man. It's, I know that. It's got that itch that yeah. I can't scratch. My wife is driving me crazy. I feel like I, I, I understand crackheads. You know, that's another episode. <laughs> that's another episode. That's so, a totally different podcast. So the CBD is helping you. Yes. Um, I know, you know, Raul's, uh, was a grandfather or uh, father-in-law, yes, right? It's helping him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I go to my cardiologist, uh, I think it's right after January 1st mm-hmm. when I, uh, when I come back from the wedding and, um, hopefully they're going to give me the okay to use the CBD. Nice. Nice. Uh, so, uh, so I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be able to help me with some of the stuff that that's been going on. So, uh, so, okay. So, uh, again, thank you to Justin. Uh, he's been great to us. Uh, so let's dive in again. What, what we're going to talk about here today, what we're going to just go down the kind of a, a short list of commonly asked questions and or things I've seen online where, um, you know, like kind of like wanted to jump in the conversation, have jumped in or somebody's tagged okay, me on or something. That. So uh, first one, and I was guilty of kind of talking about this in an episode the other day, not asking about promotions, but I definitely made it known. Like I was like, ah, coach, uh, coach has been messing with me a little bit with, uh, <laughs> he's like, Hey, that, that Brown belt's getting a little further away. So, uh, just asking about further promotions, away. like, well, I, I've got, yeah, he said it was further away. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I've, uh, so I see people asking online about, Hey, when do you think it's a good time to get a promotion or, or should I have gotten a promotion? So they're asking online, but asking your coach or your professor. I don't agree with that. I just don't think that's something you should do. Yeah, I think most coaches or professors, if somebody asks them, I think no matter they'll how post, nice they they'll are, postpone they'll postpone it just to yeah, just a little really bit more. Yes, yeah. can. But you know, um, I think everybody's got a different perspective on why they're there. Mm-hmm. Maybe are they there to get a belt promotion? Yeah. Right. So hey, if I've been here for a year, maybe I should get a belt promotion. Yeah. Well, you know, I've I've also ran into individuals that you know I asked the coach, hey, this person seems like they should potentially be a higher belt. Yeah. Well, that individual is a competitor. 
Yeah. And for them to get another promotion, maybe they need to do more competitions. Yeah. So I think it just depends, but it's definitely not a question that I think should be asked. So what, so what do you think about that? That's actually, that, that's come up a, a few times recently, just people asking me, like, how come she's not a purple belt yet? I, I think won't I say, I don't mention yeah, any I names. I know who you're talking about. Why isn't she a purple belt yet? I said, because she competes. You know, she's just not going to run through the belts. It's not the same. A competition, yeah. blue belt, a purple belt, it is not the same mm-hmm. as, no disrespect to anybody, but I'm a weekend warrior more, you know, right? I'm a, you know, got my nine to five. I'm not competing. I've been hurt, the heart attack. You know, I'm doing this for me. I'm mm-hmm. doing this to keep healthy. I'm doing this for self-defense, protect my family. You know, I've got my own set of reasons. My purple belt, I know, is not the same as, sure, sure. you know, a competition purple belt. That coach is not going to run. He's not going to, you know, run him through belts every year, right? It would so, be fair. It would be fair yeah. to them. So to when somebody asks you, okay, well, you know, why? What's your answer? I mean, that's that's kind of my answer. But what's your answer when somebody says, you know, how come she's not, she's not purple belt yet? Um, and, yeah. and watching other people that don't compete get their purple belt that train with those with those same people. Hey, I would say that the answer is it depends on the coach. Or the coach knows. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why it's the yeah. coaches, yeah. you know. But hey, you know, the coach is yeah. the coach is taken into consideration. Oh, of course, that, yeah. you're competing, you're not competing, yeah. and I don't think it's sandbagging. That's it's not sandbagging. That everyone is doing that. Again, you know, you're not going to have a one year. You're not going to be at, at blue belt for one year if you're competing. You're probably going to be at blue belt for three years. Oh sure, minimum. sure. I would you say know? yeah. You got to get your numbers up. You really want to be at a higher level. Before yeah. you get your promotion, you don't want to be just entering purple belt status. You want to be a good, solid, strong, whatever belt you are yeah. before you move into the next belt. What do you think about, okay, uh, people who feel like they're getting held back because they're not competing? Wrong mm-hmm. gym? If you're going to a yeah. competition gym, if you're training with people that are competing and you're not competing, you're going to get caught up in that. Well, you don't compete. I can't promote you faster. Yeah, right? I think you find you find your tempo. You know, if you're going to a competition gym, it's for a reason. You're not yeah. a weekend warrior going yeah. to a competition gym. Mm-hmm. Or hey, you're you're getting a lot of bumps and bruises there. Yeah. Right. And which eventually it'll make you better. Yeah. You know, you train with people that are better with you. It's funny because we smile because we know who we're talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. she's an she's a she's a warrior. Uh, I'm really not going to mention her name because then it might slight other people. But uh, and, and I don't think there's anything wrong with either side of that. No, I think she's great. Again, I think I'm she's... a I'm not a competition guy. Yeah. I'm not. I'm you know, would hope to compete again in, in the future, uh, but that's not why I'm there. Um, I, my coach's eyes bulged out of his head when I was at 41, told him I wanted to compete at White Belt. He was just like, oh, and then, you know, training completely changed. He was like, oh, so, all right, so we have to, so you have to learn points and where you need to be and, you know, yeah, back yeah. control, side control, you know, what do you, how many points you're going to get, how long you need to be there. And the, the, Training did completely change, and, and it's not every... just jujitsu training that mm. increases. But you know, outside of that, you know, your strength and conditioning, your yeah. way you eat, your supplements, and all that stuff yeah. has to change if you want to compete. Yeah, and that reflects. Okay, so uh, so let's move on to to another question. Again, these are commonly asked questions um, and or subjects that 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 I've uh, you know been uh, pulled into or uh, I thought were, were were worthy of a of a good conversation here. Um, and I felt this one. I, I feel this, especially when I stopped training for a little while. The more I learn, the more I realize what I don't know. And I think that I'll, this is what screws up a lot of people. I think this is part of the blue belt curse maybe is mm. you get to a point more is expected of you and you realize, wow, I don't know that. I have to do that now. I should be that comparing myself to to, to other people. Um but, you know, what, what do you think about that? So my thoughts are, you know, when you come and I think this happens in most schools that you go to, right? You go to class and there's new techniques for the most part every day, right? So can you learn and master all the techniques that you're shown? Potentially not, mm-hmm. right? But you have to become a master of learning the techniques that work for your body type, mm-hmm. right? And that you feel comfortable doing. So my thing's always been half guard. You know, that's always been my thing. And I've perfected, again, to my, you know, my limitations or my expectations, my half guard. Okay. Right. So I don't focus on a bunch of other stuff. 
So I think that's where, you know, the, the, the more you learn, the less, you know, okay. becomes that because you're trying to absorb too much. Okay. Right. Like you're a sponge that can only absorb so much. Okay. At the end of the day, you're going to take that sponge, you're going to wring it out because 50% of what you learned, you're going to forget. Yeah. Right. So, hey, focus on one thing, focus on one technique or one pattern of techniques. And that's what's going to make you better. Okay. You can't. I don't think you can learn and become good at every spectrum of jujitsu yeah. unless you're competing. Okay. Right? At that point in time, yeah, you're on the mat three, four, five hours a day training seven days a week. Yeah. Maybe you can absorb a lot. Okay. So, yeah. So, so, okay. So the, the, you know, the more I learn, the more I realize what I don't know. So my take on it is this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, we all feel like that's that. the answer, right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's the question and the answer, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. So guess what? You're training. Jiu-jitsu. That's the way you're supposed to feel. You know, I, I, I don't have it here today, but, uh, you know, that, uh, the, the jujitsu university book, mm-hmm. I, I've talked about it a million times. The link is in the, in the, in, in the bio on the, uh, or the link in the, on the podcast audio and on the YouTube videos. Yeah, man, you, you, ha- you're learning. Think about it. Like, think about this. You want to blow somebody's mind with what they don't know. You're learning what your coach likes to teach. You're learning his curriculum or that school's curriculum. Go to another you know, gym. It's gonna go be totally to Tenth different. Planet. It's going to be totally different. You, you know, like if I I thought about that, like if I went to a Tenth Planet school, I'd want to start over at White Belt. Mm-hmm. You know, like Rogan's got two belts, right? He's got one from Machado, and then he's got his black belt under um, Eddie Bravo. Under Eddie Bravo. You know, if I went, if I went to a different school, I at this point, I'm not I'm not proud, so I don't care. I'm like, yeah. Start me over at, at White Belt. I'd love to start over yeah, at White Belt, you yeah. know. But it, it's the system that you're in, so you don't even know what you don't. You don't even know what else is out there. Exactly. Like I, we were just talking about this before we started. I haven't even gotten into leg locks. <laughs> I'm just like I'm watching videos and I'm taking notes and you know I'm playing around. I tell doing a lot of catch and release on on you know uh, younger uh, or you know white white and blue. I, I'm not I'm wrenching anything. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. But you know, if I if I see myself in a position, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that heel hook, or mm-hmm. you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that ankle lock or toe hold, and and you know, just let it go. If it's somebody my rank or higher, I'm you know, we're, I'm we're gonna play, we're gonna we're gonna mm-hmm. move it forward. But we haven't really learned, you know, a, a lot. I haven't learned a lot of leg locks. So, um, so yeah, you don't know what you don't know. You don't even know what's out there. Like that, you know, the, even what is it like? A, a, even a black belt, it's like. Oh, it's the beginning. That, yeah, there's that, a lot. Yeah, more it's like you're just getting started. Mm-hmm. Even at black belt, now you're gonna. Now it's like the game on. Yeah, right. Now you know, it's so learn as much as you can. So, now it's so an open book. that feeling you're supposed to have it. Oh, for sure. It's 100 percent what you should be feeling, mm-hmm. and that should. There are two types of people. There's going to be somebody that's going to be like, I can't do this, and it's just too much. It, it blows their mind what they you know what they ha- have to still learn. And then there's some people who are going to eat that up. I feel like I'm one somebody that eats it up and goes and finds knowledge in other places and watches videos. And if I if I if I'm sucky at a move, I'm gonna you know I'm googling that. I'm I'm going on YouTube and I'm searching just, for that. Yeah, just think about you takedowns. Know. Yeah. Right. So hey, you can come to class and you might not do takedowns for two three weeks. Okay. And then you jump into takedowns. You're like mind blow. Yeah. Like I missed something. What did I not do? And again, you know, remember. when we talk about like uh, you know our coach here at, at Fight Sports now that does the adults class, it's we do takedowns every single day now. Mm-hmm. We didn't always do that. Um, again, it's the coach. Now we're learning like a whole new curriculum mm-hmm. in in such a good positive way. Uh, and I think that happened. You know, we've I've had different coaches, and you know, my first coach was a big guy. It was all about being top heavy. I learned that top heavy stuff. I learned my north south. Mm-hmm. You know, that's where I. Not perfected it, but I started it. That you know, oh, there. I know. and then, I know. <laughs> and then, and but looking, realizing that uh, that Marcelo Garcia, that was his move, and finding his videos and the little thing. I'm like, oh, I got to push the face that way. Oh, if they tuck their, you know, if they turn into the, the into the uh, the armpit, armpit yeah. like, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to get it. You yeah, know, think like, about that. Those. You 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 don't spend twenty hours on the mat a week. Right, so you have to supplement that, right? So yeah. how do you supplement that? Look at books, watch videos, yeah, and fine tune those little things. But if you spend twenty hours on the mat a week, I promise you, you're gonna get yeah. twenty times better. Yeah. So, so what did we we started talking about? What was it before? Because it was one of the subjects that we we talked about. Um, you're like, oh, if you train once a week, 
what was it that that you said? Oh, if you train once a week, yeah, you're probably not going to get yeah, it's it. It's not like, enough. It's not enough. But do, would you agree with the statement? I'd rather somebody train once a week for whatever reason, whether mm. it's health, financial, work, fin- like right now. I trained four times in the last thirty, uh, four times in the last thirty days, because I was hurt. Yeah. But man, I needed to get out there. But that's four more times than sure. a guy that's not hurt who's sure. taking a break, yeah, or maybe yeah. you know got family stuff, not hurt. You know, you know that one time I feel like a meme right now. Like right, we still that <laughs> meme, right? You're doing better than the guy sitting on the couch exactly. eating potato yeah, right. chips. You know, so I got in there. I figured out. You know, early on, and this was something that Cyborg said. He's like, you know, he, Cyborg, uh, you know, was like. Get out there, even if you're hurt and this and that. And I was like, but man, I can't, you know. But I did, I've did. i learned how to train hurt. And right now I can't sit up because it still hurts, mm-hmm. you know, on, on my left side. Um, I let everybody attack. Stay down. Don't sit up. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm putting myself in extremely precarious uh, situations and scenarios. And I'm letting people attack me. I've rolled with some of the younger kids today, man. These, these 16-year-old kids are getting good. In our gym, you know, the friends and family uh, day yeah. or the That'd we do sure. the family jujitsu days on Saturday, and these kids are amazing. And I, I let them attack, 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 attack. And I was like, well, I could, tra- I got through a whole training session without getting hurt, without really straining myself. And that works for me. But going back to hearing Cyborg say that when I was like, had a shoulder injury, and I've and, and I've heard him say that before, and I'm sitting there going, but I can't, I, you know, but learn. Man, I trained with somebody the other day, a white belt. He put his arm in the belt and was like, let's roll. He had a bad shoulder. He put his arm. Really? Yeah, that was Miguel. I don't know if you know Miguel. You've been so, out yeah. for yeah. Miguel, he was like, I put my arm in my... I said, let's do hey, it. That's yeah, the way to I, do I it. I put my arm in. You want to get that mat time. Hey, like you said, right? It's better to get the mat time than to not get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this, is, this is the last one that, that I want to bring up. And then, uh, again, we're going to keep it short. But we're going to come back. We're not going to be gone for too long. But um, this happened at our gym. We have talked about this early on, but I want to get your take on it because I don't think you were part of that that first podcast that we talked about it. We had a whole group of, of white belts that were moving up at the same time. Mm-hmm. There were guys that didn't want to take the, that. They did a test that felt unworthy of the promotion. And I was like, what do you like? Trust your coach. Don't worry about it. You still got a test. You just. You still have to do the test, but like they didn't want to do the test. There was uh, of the maybe really? five or six, like two or three of them were like, "I don't feel like I'm ready. I shouldn't." And then there was you know others that were like, "I want my black belt tomorrow. What do you need, <laughs> blue? I want my black belt." We're gonna skip I think one. you could pick. I think you yeah, could pick I out who know. that was. Yeah. But um, but you know there was some so feeling unworthy thoughts. You know, um, what do you, what do you, yeah, what do you I think in that? everything. Like that. That's not think, confident. Yeah, I think everything in life outside of jiu-jitsu also includes that potential sense of unworthiness, right? Yeah. A promotion or recognition or, um, but that's just, that's part of life, yeah. right? Part of life. If, when somebody thinks you're ready, take on that challenge because they're giving you the opportunity to get better, yeah. right? And maybe that's the little push that you need to get better. So um, I think the yeah. best promotions come unexpectedly. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think those are the best. Coach right? is walking over with the tape. What's going on? Yeah. yeah. yeah you know, right. a lot of times, um, a lot of times to me, that's always been the best. We're like, hey, mm-hmm. come up. You know, you're standing in line. Hey, come up. What I told those guys was this and I said, I feel like you're thinking that you're getting a blue belt and you need to know all the things that a blue belt knows. You're looking at this the wrong way. Exactly. You've exactly. completed something, right? Where yeah. Our birthdays go zero to one, right? You turn one after you've been on this planet mm-hmm. for 365 days, right? You're a white belt. You've completed something. You're testing to make sure that you know all of these things that that coach's curriculum you know, consists of. And again, it's still not everything. And yeah. everybody has a different curriculum. You know, the Gracie's out in California, man, they, you know, you're not rolling right away. They're doing a little bit more self-defense style, mm-hmm. right? You've got to learn a whole bunch of things before you can even roll, before you even touch another person on the mat, you know, in a jujitsu roll. Um, but you guys are thinking that you have to know what a blue belt knows. No, yeah. this is the start. Here, you've completed this yeah. first year of your life in jujitsu. Here's your blue belt. And now I'm going to teach you all those things that that blue belt's supposed yeah. to know. And that's what, for gyms that do stripes, that's what the stripe is for. You've now completed this amount of time. And some people will do it at like, 
six month incre increments, or sometimes it's just a surprise. It's like, wow, you won a tournament. Um, you just killed it on the mat that day, and you just, you know, you did yeah, every move that you're supposed to know, and boom, the coach comes out with a trip, maybe two. Maybe yeah. you're advancing more than, than other people, and he doesn't stick to a six month, uh, you know, time frame. But you're about to learn those things, guys. Do not, don't ever think that you're un unworthy when your coach comes over to give you a stripe or put a new belt around your waist or to tell you, hey, you're going to be testing. Trust them. You got to trust them. You're there for a reason. You got to trust them. Yeah. So if he doesn't think you can handle your own on the mat with other students that are your belt level, yeah. then he's probably you're probably not going to get a promotion. Yeah. Right? But if you go out there and you're subbing everybody in your belt level, then yeah, yeah that's a, that's a warranted and, promotion. And I even think as I, as I'm getting older, and I'm like, you know, I'm not going to progress, you know, physically like somebody else would. You know, somebody else is going to, like, you know, if I'm, let's just say, another purple belt, you know, I feel like I still got it, but, you know, I'm getting hurt a little bit more. Things take a little bit longer to recover from. But there's going to come a point where, you know, shit, you know I'm going to be in my 50, 50s right around the corner. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to progress like a 25-year-old at the same, belt, mm -hmm. the same belt rank. So curious as to what that future holds. But, but I, I'm less and less worried about belts. But as a matter of fact, too. I'm almost happy to like, yeah. let me stay down here purple for a little well, longer. Like, you know, I here's like Here's what down I think here, too, because you know? we're just talking about belt promotions based off time, based off technique. And I don't think it's just that. Mm -hmm. It's maturity, right? Because it's, you know, it's that old what adage. To the table, yeah, you know, it's that old adage, you, you know, with great power comes great responsibility that's a, that's a spidey it is, it is, it is. <laughs> so you know what else is that coach looking for he's looking for you know humbleness you know your ability to share with other students showing right? up on time and doing the warm-ups doing warm-ups right? <laughs> putting your flip-flops on not washing your belt because hey he not knows washing, it. no you gotta wash your belt wash your belt <laughs> so there's not those things are also included in that promotion if you yeah. come to you know you come to jiu-jitsu and you're you know, the ultimate dickhead, then you're probably not going to get a promotion. Yeah. I've had to turn my dickhead level down. Yeah, you I've learned, to. I've learned, you you, to. I've learned how to be humble. I'm definitely learning how to roll with, I, I think we all have it. Like, you know, you, you roll, you start rolling hard. You want to roll hard. Yeah. And then that, why that new white belt and, you know, you can't walk around doing the Conor McGregor, training. you know, you can't do the swag <laughs> thing, you know, off the mat. Every time you, you know, you sub somebody. I don't do that. He's not talking about, you know, me. or check, hey, you know, yeah, yeah. hit the check mark Ooh, in the sky. You know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> So, All right, so so uh, I didn't want to interrupt you, but we're gonna we're gonna pick this up on the next episode. So, right there, there was a, a mini episode. Again, we wanted to bring you guys uh, some answers, or at least discuss, give you our opinions. Who the fuck are we? Who, you know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're not the experts. We're, 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 just, we're the yeah, jiu-jitsu dummies. Guys. You know, we're telling you, we're talking to you guys about where we feel. You know, what, our opinions and from our perspective. Our gym, our training, the people that, that we mm -hmm. come across, uh, we're not saying that we're right. We're not saying that our answers are going to be perfect uh, or, uh, you know, there's only one answer to any of these questions. Tell us who um, you want to see on the show. Yeah. Hey, s but, put that uh, in your comments. Yeah. Th th tell us who you want to see on the show. Uh, keep on throwing us questions. Uh, we, you know, we, we definitely, again, part of this was trying to get every single question on the show. So we're going to come back with episode nine. Um same thing. Well, we'll do a couple of giveaways and okay. uh, awesome. and we'll answer yeah. some more questions. So again, listen, we want to thank Ospop again uh, for being part of the, the show and hopefully they'll be back for episode, uh, maybe uh, our next full length episode will be episode 10. Um, don't forget, check out chokeresponsibly.com for our, uh, that houses our podcast and obviously has great stuff. Uh, they're great jujitsu t-shirts, all kind of funny um, parody type mm -hmm. t-shirts um, our podcast store lives on that website. You can go to jujitsudummies.com, click on the store there, and uh, and and uh, visit visit the store. Uh, Five back CBD. CBD. Yes. All their contributions. Justin, right. thank you so much. I love giving out CBD. Uh, it's such a big thing in this world. So uh, you mm -hmm. know, uh, CBD is uh, you know. Uh, and if you don't know the story behind fight back cbd go and watch episode seven episode seven yeah he tells great story about, justin has a great story yeah. everything that he's doing with fight back cbd is amazing all the people that we're trying to help in this community yeah you know he's a great ambassador for the sport and that's yeah. again you know when we talk yeah. about promotions that's something else yeah. hey what type what are you doing to grow the community yeah right? so joke responsibly podcast store ospop.com and find them at ospop bjj on instagram so check them out let them know we sent you We've got a new sponsor coming for that next full-length episode, which I'm really excited about. I'm not going to say yet. Uh, so we've got uh, some new sponsors. If you have a product, a brand, 
a gym, um, anything that you want to feature, you want to send us t-shirts, you want to see your t-shirts on the podcast, hats, gear, geese, whatever, uh, there's going to be a, uh, it, by the time this airs, there'll be a an address on our contact page for people to send us products to test, send us stuff to wear. But ultimately, look, you should probably reach out to us first. Let's talk about what we can offer in return for a product, giveaways, and or uh, monetary sponsorships. If you want to get a shout out on the episode, we should shout out uh, CJ Carroll, uh, James Fisher, and Chuck Reddor, who are uh, a couple of our, three of our podcast patrons currently. Mission 22. Mission 22, right? CJ wants us to, to shout out Mission 22. Uh, Mission22.com. Check out. They're doing great things for veterans. Check them out. But if you want to become a podcast patron... Support us. Keep us on air. Keep us recording. Uh, go to jujitsudummies.com. Click on the sponsors slash patron tab. And for as little as $5 a month, you can get a shout out on the episode. How much? Uh, <laughs> $5 a month. <laughs> Man. Just for $5 a month. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So, you can support the show. For and, sure. And uh, you're going to get things like uh, stickers and uh, and some... Key patches. Uh, key patches. Uh, things like that after you've been supporting us for a few months. So, uh, again, thank you, everybody. Let's uh, let's uh, wrap it up. And uh, you got anything else you want to add? No? Go wash, We're good? Go wash your gi. Don't worry too much and, about your belt. <laughs> <laughs> wash your gi, wash your belt, stinky. Go train. Thank you, guys. Us. Us. Us.